everybody understands that to be better, we all need to just show up and teach and give away what we know. Because to teach other people what you're doing, you have to figure out what you're doing. And that has probably done more to make me a better lawyer than anything. I want to build an army of people who know how to do what I'm doing. Because at the core, I really want to leave this place better than I found it. We're law students for the three years we're in law school, and we are law students until we stop practicing law. I believe in self-criticism. I believe in self-improvement. If you're not doing anything to get better, people are going to pass you up. You can't rest on your laurels. I was here last year. I came again this year. There's something you learn every time. That's why something like TLU is so amazing, because so many people bring all these ideas from across the country to share, but then you got to go apply it, and you got to get out into the world and try cases. I don't see how you become a great trial lawyer otherwise. That's why people are scared of trial. There's nowhere to hide. And you can help them have a little success. It feels really good. Pretty soon, they know they're going to win. And they're not scared of trial anymore. They're looking forward to it. Isn't trial work storytelling on steroids? If you can tell somebody's story truly and well, you can turn it into justice, can't you? If you don't have that connection to your client, you can't bring it to life in front of you know a judge or a jury because you, it just, it's just it's not real, right? In a courtroom, I'm standing between my client and the jurors, and it feels like a big gap. If I've done my job right, the gap disappears. It takes passion, it takes perseverance, and it means that you have to do tougher, better. To get my kids' attention off devices, all I have to say is, let me tell you a story. Boom, they drop, they're ready. Human beings are wired to receive story. People watch TV, they watch movies. If you don't keep them interested, if you don't find a way to move them emotionally, then you have failed your client. I mean, I've represented famous celebrities to people that were homeless. I love talking to the clients and trying to make a difference in their life. They need somebody to grab their hand and say, all I want you to worry about is you getting better, is your family recovering, let me handle the rest. There's something about a courtroom. This is a place where important stuff happens. And then if you stay long enough, you see that justice is not blind. A lot of it depends on who your lawyer is. It shouldn't be that way, but it is. Being a trial lawyer is not a nine to five. This is a, a obsession. You have to be obsessed with it. There's a lot of perspiration and there's a lot of inspiration. But if you're not inspired and you don't feel passionate about it, go do something else. And I've had clients say, you know, Christian, it doesn't matter what the outcome is. You've done an amazing job. And I said, no, 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 no. My goal is to get the ball across the finish line for you. Go make yourself a little niche. Go figure out where it is and it shouldn't be about money. Money will take care of itself if you just find the passion. I mean, I don't ever have a day I wake up and I'm like, oh, I gotta go do this. I love doing it. I love trying new things, adding things in, tricking defense counsels. I mean, I love teaching lawyers how to just be happy. It sounds so simple, but you have to surround yourself with mentors and folks that are like-minded, that wanna make sure you have that quality of life. Because if you're around a bunch of scumbags, you're probably going to be a scumbag. <laughs> Every case is a measure of what that community values. Leading the community to find justice for somebody that really needs it can lift a community. When the legislature fails, that's where we step in and we make the difference. I will have other trials. I'll have other clients. But when this is over, that client goes home. And if I haven't done my best for him, I haven't been his champion, then I've failed. Does Apple get together with Microsoft and share ideas? I don't think so, but here we are doing that. Why? Because we believe in the mission. If you come here and you contrast this with any other fine organization, you're going to find the level of talent almost breathtaking. You feel like it's you against the world out there all the time, and, and you come here and you 
get a group of people that are an army with you. They're all sharing their war stories, what's allowed them to get to where they're at. I haven't really seen any clinic like that. I've got this issue, or what about this expert? How did you handle that? Having that resource is amazing. Everything is so well organized that you have time to learn from classes, from lectures, but you also have time to interact with people, like with drinks, uh, events, and that makes it so easy. If what you want is to go mess around, but get some CLE credits, then I could tell you 10 other ones, but to sharpen your knife, this is, this is the one you would want. I've been to a lot of them. I I've taught at a lot of them. This is the one that is no BS, brings the best trial lawyers, provides the most content, and does it under the least amount of pressure.